What's up guys, Stone here, and welcome back to Tune Up Tuesday, where we answer all your duck calling questions. So, today's question comes from David Marshall. David says, I have a hard time doing the pintail whistle. What are some good tips? A lot of people struggle with that one, David, so there are a couple ways to pull this off. Now, the most realistic way to sound like a pintail is the way Phil does it and other the few other humans on the planet have the capacity to pull it off. He describes it as a piece of meat hanging in your throat. I, I forgot the term for it, but there is a scientific term. It's a flap. It's a piece of meat hanging down and some people can get that to flutter, flutter. And when you blow and make that piece of meat flutter while putting your finger in the end of this whistle, you get a pintail sound. Well, I guess I don't have one of those pieces of meat in my throat because I can never make that happen. I, I could never figure it out. So I guess I don't have one. So what I do, and it doesn't quite sound as good, but it's close enough. So I just roll my tongue in spurts. But you have to get your finger in the end of that whistle. So put your finger in the end of that whistle, seal off all the air, and roll your tongue. Put a little bit of voice into it if you can, it's hard to do, because you don't want it too high. And hopefully you'll get something like this. There's your pintail drake. Now, pintail hens make a guttural noise, almost like a diver. Yeah, they're very rarely heard. So, if you hear a pintail hen, let me know how it, how it sounds, because I've never heard one. But rumor is they make a guttural sound, almost like a diver. <coughs> Something like that. And all I'm doing is rolling my tongue, rolling my tongue, same way I'm rolling my tongue in this whistle. Put your finger there in the whistle, roll your tongue. For you guys who haven't figured out how to blow a hen call yet, blow your pintail whistle. Be still, you won't flare any ducks. So this is the Mallard Drake call. This is a whistle inside of a barrel. Now the barrel makes it a little bit lower pitch so you might sound better on this than you do on this so go ahead and get one of these same deal put your finger over the exhaust roll your tongue i think i actually sound better on that than i do the whistle cover the exhaust seal it off Be real subtle. Don't go crazy with it. Be still. And that should get your pintails close enough to fire your weapon. Now always remember this. You always shoot pintails before the third pass. Most of the time after that first pass, you duck hunters know what I'm talking about. After that first pass and they fly away, you say, man, I wish we'd have shot them things at 50. And then 20 minutes later, the same thing happens. They make a pass at 50, kind of broke down, a very doable shot, and you watch them fly off. Pintails are slick. So I recommend if they're broke down a little bit at 50 yards, go ahead and peel you one out because you might not get another chance at them. So there's my pintail tip of the day. Hope that worked out for you. Keep coming with the questions, like, and subscribe. We'll be here.